before the show in Utah, we're gonna take a little, you know, chill out time, a little me time. And I'm thinking like, you know, spas, maybe I can get a manicure. No, the group wants to go horseback riding. Shannon. Glad you guys I'm are here. Shannon. Roger. Nice to, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Aubrey. Nice Aubrey. To meet you. Aubrey. Nice Aubrey. To meet you. D. Woods. D. Woods. All right. You guys ready to ride? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, we got some beautiful horses up there. Know. And anybody want a wild one? I do. No. Okay. Uh, here's the wild girl. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at you. He looks at you like Q looks at you. Like, Don, come and get me. I think you're a little too fashionable for I know. I was giving you high fashion horse riding. Well, you know, if you had the black and white one, it would match perfectly with your purse. <laughs> I feel like there's so many rules about what you need to wear when you get on a horse, and really, for what? You can be fashionable and be on a horse. No one said that you can't ride a horse with five-inch boots. I'm a little worried right now. I can barely walk in these shoes. I shouldn't have worn heels. Aubrey is not dressed for riding. She is dressed for a show on a runway or something. She has these big Mary Kate and Ashley glasses on and this headband. So she looks like she's like playing tennis. Even the horse does not like what Arby's wearing. Oh, I don't. <laughs> Dang, this is gonna here? be scary. I, have... I don't know how Arby's gonna get her foot up in them tight ass jeans. <laughs> here we go. Uh, ready? One, two, three. Here we go. Oh, that wasn't yeah, that bad, was it? Yeah, she made Yay! it. We're walking Fashion Week today, Bandit. <laughs> Bandit, he's my horse. He's the rebel of the group. I'm the rebel of the group. You be ready Stop. to get going. Bandit, Bandit, oh no, wait, hello. Stop, Bandit, whoa, whoa. We felt each other's presence immediately, that's all. We just made eye contact. Bandit knew who was gonna be riding him for the rest of the day. And that was it, nothing else needed to be said. Can I stay by you? Yeah, I'll, I'm, I'll be I'm very fun. accident prone. Oh, okay, yeah, we don't want you to fall off or get hurt, so. The horses are like nice, and then they decide they're kind of needing, you know, nature. They're doing a nature moment. They're ha either. Oh my God, your horse! Oh. Right here, too. Oh. The horse took a big. Oh. He took a gigantic. Oh my God! Body, oh one goes. Oh my God! One goes. See, it'll smell like the horse by the end of the trip. That's right. Oh, okay. I just ridden it. Oh, that's that a lot. Oh. Just you gotta go, you gotta go. They don't really stop to go into the bathroom or go any, they just go as they're walking. Just. <laughs> oh, yours just dropped a little too. Oh, oh my okay. God. I don't want to get too close, it's splattering. <laughs> oh, it's burning my okay. nostrils. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Hey. I think I'm allergic to their poo. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get your picture taken. Smile. Honey, look up. Ba Bandit, look up. One. Yeah. Come on, cowgirls. I feel so bad because the boys are missing all this beautiful scenery. So here we are in Utah, far from the boys. Did you talk to Q? Are they going to strip clubs? No, no, no. Would you care if you went to a strip club? No. No. You're like me. I don't care about I that kind of stuff. Not. Me too. This would be the perfect place to come with your significant other. I wonder how it is to have a relationship. That's crazy. I wonder how it is, Dawn. Okay, I set myself up for that one. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about yes. no, you not. using the L word. Can we not? Phil's oh. been in love with you since the day he saw your beautifulness. <laughs> Even though it's hard because we are in this relationship thing trying to make it work and it is out in the open. I'm still a private person, so it's very uncomfortable for me. Can we not talk about that? Are you guys using the four letter? What is going on? I heard the other day, and I'm like, am I You guys are talking about luck, right? A four letter L? I did tell him that I wish him luck. Shannon, you have everyone at this table knows the four letter L word. If they want to say it, that's their business. Okay, you're gonna have to say it. Let's talk about it. I know, well, I just wanted to say as a member of this group, who's your friend, I think it's lovely. So who said it first? I always said What is going on? <laughs> That's Everybody always a question. Who said it first? What is going on right now? I don't, I don't know. Please tell me you were a G and you said it after. I don't. Then, you know, you had to be a G. Come on. He said it first, right? You know, 
as far as me and what Q and I talk about, whoever says I love you, it's forcing me to question every day, should I take this to the next level? Do you think it'll work because it's so It's gonna work because I love you. And when you love somebody, you make it work. Yeah, you promise. promise. I'd be scared to tell you someone that if they didn't tell me you. first. Really? It's just to protect yourself. Love is a big word. I think you don't just really throw that you around. Don't throw it around. Who says anyone's throwing it around? Mm -hmm. I'm saying it's a big word. It is a very big word. It's very scary. It is. Tonight is our show in Park City. It's at Harrio's. It's like a bar, club kind of atmosphere. Bright lights, on the club. Feels like that. Seems like we need to go. It's a more intimate venue. We're really close to our fans, so we should have a lot of fun. One more great show down, and now it's time to get out of the nature, head to Vegas, and see what the boys are up to. Come on, Cubie Doo Doo. His name's Cubie Doo, like Scooby Doo, oh but not. He looks like him, he don't he? Looks like him. <laughs> the lips and the eyes. It is eyes. Big eyes and lips. You know what? I'm gonna go barf. <laughs> I'll come say goodnight Jealousy when I'm done. Jealousy is a bad habit, everyone. So we're headed to Vegas, and I'm excited because it's fun in the sun, some daiquiri, <laughs> and of course, Q. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm excited to see him. Say goodnight to QB. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to get some prescription meds on our bike. Come on, QB Doo Doo. Screw those girls. <laughs> We just got to Vegas, and the most important thing we have to do today is go to the pool. So, Ned, if you can. Hey, guys, can you do us a big favor? Can you bring one of those chairs over to us in the third section down there? Thank you. Did you talk to them or anything? I'm good. Thanks, Can you help that? No. No, no. Vegas, baby. Hey, Aubrey. So we're having a bad boy reunion at the pool. We're being fabulous, walking around in our bikinis, and of course the boys in their Tims and their sweaters and their jeans. Woo! Yeah. Well, Why are you got that towel wrapped around your waist? <laughs> Can you do it to the beat like this? From the start. What are we doing tonight? What's going on? I have a surprise. I have surprises. I have. You have a surprise for me? Yeah, I have a surprise. For you. How big is the surprise? Um, <laughs> very big. I think you're gonna like it. You think I'm gonna like it? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs>
What Q did for me, I've never been given anything like that by by any guy. Like the thought process and and just this being, it was just so sincere. And this is the first time like I've ever gotten anything like this. Oh, I'm gonna baby. fix it up for you. That's I'm gonna take you to the balcony. <sighs> this view is crazy. I like ice. I know you like. The <sighs> you scared? Yeah. <laughs> Come back. It's fine. I know. It's fine. Look at this. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you did real good. Like, Thank you. never had this before. Really? Never. This is so nice. Wow, this seems familiar. Remember this? Me? We were in Miami, and I had your hat on like this. And you said, Look at me, dog. Really? Kiss me my shit. No, no, I'm not gonna kiss you. Just buddy. <laughs> I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You smell good. This is like my first date. Wow. Extremely nervous. I mean, that is good. <laughs> this guy is throwing his soap at y'all. That's something attractive, right? I wouldn't mind if a guy would throw his soap at Yeah, I don't know much, but I know that tonight I don't want to be. You can't find someone who does appreciate you and want to give themselves to you and be the fairy tale. People say that fairy tales aren't real and that you can't get your white knight and you can't. It, you can. And like Shannon would sit down and tell me that all the time and I didn't believe her. But she has hers, you know, she's married and everything. And for the first time I feel like that fairy tale might be true. Use a sucker, use a sucker for love. Use a sucker, use a sucker for love. <laughs> Woo! I'm a sucker, I know that. <laughs> you don't have to say that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sucker too. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss this tour. It's been so much yeah, fun. We've all really become a family. Now it's ending. At this point in the tour, there's two cities left. And it's just sad because the tour is about to be over. We all have to go our separate ways and, and do our own separate careers. Now I'm going to be single and alone again. <laughs> you and me both. I need attention. That's your line right there. <laughs> Yay! San Diego is close to my home, so all my family's gonna come down and visit. Oh. My niece, Isabel, I'm extremely close with her. Oh my goodness. Unfortunately, now that I'm working so much, I don't get to see her too much, so. You want me to come home? Yes. Oh, why you miss me? Yes. But then what about the group? <laughs> And she told me, she's like, can you not be in the group anymore? <laughs> you want to come home? Then she won't be famous. I miss her. <laughs> I got some oil. You need baby oil? Will 
Well, Will likes to take his shirt off. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, He took his shirt off in Baltimore, Chicago, Vegas, and here we are in San Diego, and I think things are getting taken to another level because there's baby oil. Sweat dripping all over your body. There's excess granny. Oh! <laughs> Willie's kind of been coming in and like, you know, he's been taking his shirt off a lot lately and he's getting baby oil on him. <laughs> That's a little much, it's excessive. Like if the sun were to hit him, he could maybe cook. <laughs> I love Will. We'll get a pot and like cook on it. Go get it, Willie. Go cook us a meal with your biceps. Can you go away? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm trying to stay focused, zen, on my show. And why does Willie have to walk in with his shirt off? Ask him for some baby oil all over his 50 pack. I don't know why everybody's just staring. I'm just, you know, getting ready, getting prepared to do my job. So during a Day 26 show, like clockwork, we're always going to get Will's six pack. <laughs> I see Q taking off his shirt. What I fear is that everyone will start getting the willy complex and that they will start all taking their shirts off. <laughs> it's getting out of hand right now. Text me like a bunch he of times. He asked me for day, your number. Because he was like, um, the picture. your mom has a picture that I want. And I was like, oh, OK. And he's like, yeah, she knows which one. And so I was like, oh. I was like Willie said he wants some picture from you. And he's, she's like, oh, yeah, he totally wants the picture of himself naked. Not naked, but like with his shirt off on stage. I was like, he kept calling he for that so picture, conceited. He's hilarious. See, he wanted the picture he of his, his shirt off. They all were trying to take their shirts off. Yeah. After Willie. Mm-mm. <sighs> Once Willie does it, they can't like, do it. don't do that. Just, just, just let Willie do his thing. He took his shirt off. <laughs> You're like, don't do that. Don't do this, Danny. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> he said they screamed, so it was OK. Mm. <laughs> what kind of scream was it? They said it was like, no, they did. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh what? It's like, oh, he's got a little shirt off. You're like, just scream for him. <laughs> so peck. Oh. <laughs> and, Will, and Willie's like, nice. I'm like, incredible. <laughs> going to be our last stop of the tour. But before we do the concert, we're going to be doing our new music video for Bad Girl. Danny Kane has done three videos today. We have Showstopper, Ride For You. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Damaged. And our fourth video will be Bad Girl. We're really excited about this one. It's a little bit different than all the other ones. We're kind of showing our alter egos, getting a little sexy, wearing some black leather. Whoa, camera. Whoa, whoa, playback. The premise for the video is it's a comic book, and we have alter egos. So basically, we have the regular girl, and then when the red light comes on, we transform into bad girls. That one's so good on you. That is amazing. We all have different sections, and it starts off. I'm being interrogated by the mean, bad detective, and then all of a sudden I'd handcuff him and throw him on the bed, and oh, I mean, the table. <laughs> Talon's gonna get a boner. I am in a peep show box. <laughs> Sex. I am strapped in a gurney. A mad scientist has me under his wing, and my mad scientist is none other than Q. I am on a motorcycle, and I get to karate chop a guy who's chasing me. Can you stand up on a bike and kick? Yeah! All bragging aside, I have the best part. <laughs> And for my part, I'm all tied up with chains in a dungeon-like 
atmosphere. One of the coolest things about this video is that the infamous, the awesome, the greatest Missy Elliott is in our video. Everybody knows how dope her videos are and you want to just sit there in front of the TV and watch them over and over and over again. Danity Kane and Missy Elliott, we bad girls. Missy, we go, we go like this too. Okay. So if you want to do that with us. Okay. Or you can do like a version of it. Okay, no, I'm going to do, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to do that. Okay. Next time I'll do that. okay. When Missy is in the video, that means it's automatically stamped hot. That's a wrap. We can't wait to give him our final bad boy show. We gotta go out with a bang. Willie text me and... What's up, y'all? What up, what up, what up? Hi. Mm. Good to see you guys. What's up, what's up? Congratulations on your last show. Thank you. Heard everything's been getting better, so I'm excited to see it. What's been your best show so far that y'all like? New York. New York. New York, yeah. Awesome. They said Chicago was pretty cool. Yeah. It was, it was. But then we still have tonight, so. Yeah. yeah. Let's finish up strong. The crowd is great. Well, I'm excited to see the show. I just want to come and wish y'all good luck. Thank you. So I'll see y'all out there. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Are you running on stage with the Platinum Plaque tonight? Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm going to introduce y'all, though. OK. So I'll give y'all an extra push. All right. All right. See you later. Thanks. Mom, what's something I can do for tonight? I think you should do the upside down thing. I, I think love that's that. funny. <laughs> As you all have seen, the boys have been taking their shirts off in the shows, especially with Willie. But what they don't know is we have a little surprise for them. See, Daddy Kane knows how to flip it. Hope you're ready, boys. I was gonna go for it, but I'm like thinking, what the <laughs> if this okay. turns Take bad? It. Sorry. I should do it. I should do it. What do I do with Bill? He's doing Brian and Mike. I'm nervous about this. Does anyone have super glue? <laughs> <laughs> Donnie has no idea what he's in for, and that's exactly how I like it. You want to play the bad boy? We'll give you some bad boy. Situation with the friends of people. Dre is like PG. And then I'm like giving you a little bit of a PG 13. And then here comes Aubrey, and she's giving rated R slash X. You make me wrong. Life is fulfilled.
loosen up, Danny. Ain't nothing gonna loosen them up. Woo! Thank you, Tony. <laughs> so now that we're done with Tony, it's the boys' turn. <laughs> On the next uh, song we're doing, you guys, we're gonna bring some special guests out again. Cause we know you can't get enough of these boys. And we're gonna take you to ecstasy. Soon they bought the sexy when it comes to bringing the real sexy. Daddy Kane's your girls. We love you, LA! Thank you guys so much! We pull up to our hotel that we're gonna be staying at, and it is gorgeous. It's like looking at a postcard. need to find me a man. Our room is the presidential suite at the top of the, you know, hotel. Make my room for hey. me. Hey. Uh, this is please. mine. Thank oh, you. Oh my god, you guys look outside. Hi. What's up, you bitches? What does the governor's suite look like? Danny Kane, presidential. Boys, governor's suite. Do y'all have a jacuzzi on your terrace? Forget you, man. Oh, there's one up here. <laughs> Hell yeah! Go to RMD, come on. Come on, Ebony. I and Ivory, we are gonna be in a suite together. We have a little jacuzzi! Ebony! Hey! And if we don't wanna talk to you, don't take it personal. I wanna All get right. a lap dance from the guy that just brought in the suitcases. Hey! Hola! Aubrey and D. Woods, they just getting a party crack it immediately. Yes! Come on, come on. Yes. 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 Go. Oh, Make the music, ready? Hey! 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 I hope we all survive this vacation. Thank <laughs> you.
After a while, I'm watching everybody, and these dolphins, they act like dogs. They're making me laugh. I'm like, okay, even though they look a little weird, they're not that bad. I'll say this, that was one strong dolphin that pulled Big Mike back to the side of the pool. That was one strong dolphin. Well, it's birthday. And we're going to have a really, really good time. We got a little something special for him. It's my birthday, and I'm ready to party. Robert, you look so sexy. Well, oh, thank you. The guy that's his birthday, he's a veteran. He's a veteran. He loves that stuff. Yes, that's a lot. It's a big shot. <laughs> Drink. Drink. Go, 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 go. Hey! Happy birthday! I'm going to eat work. this cheese stick and think of you. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Me and Robert are the volunteers. That means we have to totally submerge ourselves into the whole traditional garb and everything. Do I got to take this off? Yes. All right, Robert. Oh. Yeah, Robert. Take your socks off. Take your socks off. You need to take your shirt off, and you need to put your boxer a little bit up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I don't, can't take my socks off. I think Robert looked amazing in his little blue sparkly outfit, but I would have uh, X'd the white socks out. to walk the bottom of the ocean. We are doing something called the sea trek. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not nervous about the water. I'm nervous about what's in the water. I will okay. go first. Good. This is a piece of cake. What? I'm from Southern California. I live at the beach. I live under the water. Can you take it off? <laughs> oh, my God. What happened? It's stuck in the head, Jerry. OK, I am not going first. You go first. No. Go. That's what happens in all the horror movies, and I die first. This is something that I just have to conquer, mind over matter. It's only water. Hey, if she makes it, then I'm doing it. She did it. Oh man, now this means I have. 
have to do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna lower myself into the ocean and swim with the fish. Okay, let's go. We're seeing, you know, lots of colors, bright fish, silver fish, big fish, long, weird swordfish looking things. So we're like skipping along at the bottom of the ocean. It's like a musical. Who does this? Ebony and Ivory do it. <laughs> You know, today was another mission for Ebony and Ivory successfully achieved. Wow. And now the world is our platter. And we skipped on the bottom of the ocean. Not many people can say they've done That's that. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! We're going to be like celebrating like our third year of DK. Think about everything that we've gone through and everything we've done. I feel like we're like a family now, you know? I don't know. It's kind of cool. What's next? I don't know. What is next? Babies for you? Me? You're the only married one. Oh, well, besides Donna Q. <laughs> <laughs> what is next? What do you think is going to happen next? Season two, man. Yep. Done. Nice What's up, man? Hi. I was coming. Hey, so, does anybody know what the hell's going on? No. Do we ever? Well, what up, y'all? What up, what up, what up? We in the club home. Good. Tell me about the trip. Uh, we swim with dolphins. Yes. Swimming with dolphins. Well, some of us were scared to swim with dolphins. Yeah, who yes. was scared? That's how you talking about. That's how I learned. Yeah, I just wanted to send y'all away on a trip. I think y'all worked extremely hard on the tour, and um, wanted y'all to just get a couple of days to lay back and relax. Hopefully, y'all had a good time. Yes. Thank you. And um, en enjoyed yourselves. Yeah, well, you know, we got a long year ahead of ourselves. Y'all will be up doing more shows and more tours together, probably going some other tours with other groups. You know, I think that that was a, a great warm-up. Cool, that's what's up. But I want to talk to the girls alone, y'all. So I'm going to excuse y'all now and then just tell y'all, um, you know, keep doing what y'all doing, and I'll see y'all later on. Okay. All right? Come out of the studio if you ain't doing that later on tonight. Yes, sir. I may, go, I may go out to One Oak later on, all right? Yeah, so I don't, I don't want to be overly dramatic and um, with the clan of the room, but we just had a point where we just all need to sit down and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Um, we all started out on this journey like, you know, four years ago together. It's been a crazy ride with y'all, you know? It's been great watching y'all grow. You know, I would say my proudest moment was, you know, watching y'all on tour. Seeing y'all perform and seeing the way people re reacting to y'all. We got a number one album, MTV nominations. Platinum selling act. And even with all of that said, I'm, I'm unsure about the future of the group. Your lives have played out in front of the camera. You know, but then there's also a portion of your lives that play out when the cameras are off.
We're, we're coming to a crossroads right now in the reality of our relationship. And it's really just time for some real talk on um, where we going with it. Because um, we got to figure out what the future of the group is. And, and I just need some honest, real talk. I don't need no bull Because for me, the reality of the situation has changed with the vision. The reality of the situation has changed with the vision. The reality of the situation has changed with the vision. The reality of the situation has changed with the vision. So, um, Andrea, a couple of months ago, I had got an email that you were thinking about leaving the group. There's a lot of, like, internal things. And Okay, what's the internal things? You wanted to quit the group. That's a serious thing. No, so it was. I need to know why you wanted to quit the group. I mean, I was going. What, what's going on? I was going through like a lot of personal problems in my life. Uh -huh. On top of issues with like the group. What's the issues with the group? I mean, I don't think it's issues with us like getting along i think it's stuff like outside things that are always like affecting us where it was i was sitting there feeling like gosh like i don't i don't i just want to be in a group like that's it i don't want to do anything else i don't want to i don't want to be you know an actress i don't i don't have those other things like this was my dream so it kind of came to a point where it's just like if everyone's not wanting to do that then why you know kind of stay in it because it just felt like it was like being forced, you know, but then talking with the girls and stuff like, and you know, Don and, and Shannon a lot, I just. Mm. You know, we don't really get along, right? I wouldn't say that's not, that's not like an issue, not. A, Anything like that. I think it was like from management. And, and, and I want to say, this is not foreign to, to just you. There's a lot of groups that are still together, but like people that haven't spoke to each other in 20 years because of something that somebody thought somebody was on, and it just wasn't communicated straight, looking in the eyes. And this is a this is a multi-million dollar investment for me, and I'm just asking real talk. No, I can. I mean, things just weren't. I don't know the way that. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to that then. I mean, I don't want to put too much pressure on you. Or it was a time you sent me an email too, where it was a time where in the email it felt like you had it with the group. I've never had it with this group. I've never said that I quit. I've never said I want I to quit. It, I never said that you, I never said that you quit. I just, had I it. Didn't. I've had it with feeling unhappy in different situations, and I think that um, there are a lot of issues, and most of them are much bigger than this group. So what is it? <clears throat> Do you guys mind if I speak about the things that we talk about as a group? Because I'm not going to speak individually because everything that I'm about to say is something that everyone in this group has said. Okay. Okay. I feel like we, we, um, I feel like it, like you said, it is hard enough to keep five women together and it is hard enough to make five women believe in things when we are all completely different because at the end of the day we have felt in one way or another that everything around us at one point or another has not believed in us. There's certain levels of respect that we want. I mean, we've never had that from management. We have had bad seed after bad seed, and it keeps getting worse. Those people play a large part in the reason why this group can't pull it together at times. Like, when you have five sisters in a house, you got to have mom and dad come in every once in a while, like, stop it. Go sit in the corner, shut your mouth, and stop crying. We don't have anything like that happening, and all of us have enough respect for each other as women, for the most part, we're not going to boss each other around and, and play mom to each other. I try to take responsibility for, 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 for my reality. You know what I'm saying? If I let somebody dictate my reality, then that's still my fault. So if I let myself be in a situation where I don't have the right management, that's still my fault. If you want to know the internal issue, it's a trust issue. Minus everything around us, it is a trust issue. Okay. You cannot have five women getting on stage every night, moving forward with a career when there is a lack of trust within each other. We have outside ears coming in all the time. Puff wants to move solo with this person. Puff saying this person's a future bad boy. Puff saying this at MTV that he wants to make y'all the dream girls and then move forward with Dawn with her on this and that. We don't speak much to you. 
All of that being said, I don't think anything can exist without communication. Not a marriage, not a relationship, not a group, not anything, and there is none. Right now it's clear that there is a clique in this group, right? I don't y'all, know y'all what the clique is. No, you know the clique. You call yourselves Ebony and Avery, right? Y'all are can clique. I address that? Oh, only, only thing I'm trying to say is that I don't even see y'all two ever speak. That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen a, a group of five people where two people avoid each other. I mean, so, yeah, so, do, was... do, do y'all think I'm stupid? No, I don't, I don't think avoid it. On. I don't that think takes way too y'all much effort. Y'all don't speak. Can somebody answer that? I'm investing my money in a group. I've spoken Wouldn't to you, you all morning long, have I not? Yeah, we did. Y'all speak? Yeah, I we do talk. Spoken to I mean, there's me. moments where we don't talk and we just, that, they kind of, it's like, okay, it's I'm not, like I'm this. I'm talking about today. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So instead of, this, if y'all don't want to answer the question, I'm not, I'm, just, I'm saying I'm not no, going to go just, back for it. No, it's just, there's no internal issue that I have with anyone here that is making it that I don't want to be in this group. What do you feel the state of things at, Dawn? What do you feel the problems at? Maybe, please don't give me the same unifying theme because that is not going to work. Somebody going to tell the truth up in this bitch. Um, this is how I feel about it. I think it has a lot to do with our business within Danity King. Us as five females, we don't trust each other, therefore the business is not working. Like, having the chemistry on stage because we don't trust each other and because we are clicked. Like, we may not say it, but the reality is we are, we hang with certain people. So when we, we go on stage, we do what we do and then we leave and we peace out and we don't talk to each other. We just do whatever the hell we want. We, you know, sometimes we make it to a show as five, sometimes we make it as four. Sometimes we have days where we talk to each other, some days we don't talk to each other for weeks. Some days we're click, like when it comes to management and outside stuff, we band together because that's the only thing that kind of gets us on the same page. But when that is it, when we do red carpets, when is Danny D. Kane supposed to be there, we are never together. Who's the, who's the fifth person that won't be there? D wasn't, D, no, 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 D didn't make meeting. that meeting. But then we had a show where we had a show with us for, and Aubrey didn't come because she had to do her obligation as Broadway. When we have a show coming up and maybe D has an obligation or maybe Drea has an obligation, when Drea said she wanted to quit, it was going to be us for and playing an audition. To me, that f***ed up. Your business, that f***ed up the name, that f***ed up the brand. You see, you feel what I'm and saying? And then y'all don't like each other. And then we don't like each other. We talk to each other, but this is the reality of Danny King. That's it right there. And I, I mean, that's just the honest truth of it. What's your feeling? As far as the clicks, I mean, I don't think any one of us, I know, and just speaking for myself, I don't have any things personally against anyone around this table. I just feel like there's a special relationship that I have with Shannon, there's a special relationship I have with Andrea, with Dawn, with Aubrey. Of course, the one with Aubrey is more obvious because we're together more. You have anything you want to say? I think that we just need to refocus. You know, it's hard, but we always are managed to refocus, so I know the promise and the potential is... I'm, 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 I'm going to give y'all a, 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 you know, um a gauge on, so y'all, y'all clear on like where y'all at relationship wise. Emotions will have you broke. Emotions will have you broke and have you watching the MTV Awards 10 years from now, kicking yourself in the ass. Emotions are a dangerous thing. Y'all always make me look like a bad guy on TV. And I'm not gonna look like a bad guy. If y'all wanna blame it on anything else but the people right here looking at each other, then y'all are going down the wrong road. You know what I'm saying? You got blessed with a once in a lifetime opportunity. And that opportunity could go away right now, but not under me almighty puff power on, on into your hands. Y'all could take that opportunity away. I didn't want to put out there what I was doing, but um, I had Dawn helping me do some demos on my album. But y'all know she has a special voice. You know what I'm saying? We all have our strengths. Y'all all have your strengths in, in the group. I don't understand the point of the jealousy or the, the point of getting scared. It shows how weak and fragile the group is. I don't have- I think it would have been good if you just communicated that because mm -hmm. Harv Pierre told me that, she, that you guys were moving forward with the solo album. Mm -hmm. And when you do something like that and we have problems with ourselves because of our past with this situation is like the lying or the manipulation or the like- You know, you know, you know, you know something for me? I'm not doing anything negative or foul. Okay. I don't, so, so at the end of the day, my thought process is not... So maybe can we communicate my, better then? I don't have to do that. Okay. That's what I want to let you know. Okay. You, you have to deal with the reality of where you're at. You're not dealing with that reality. So just no I'm the chairman of Bad Boy. I don't have to call Aubrey. No, I don't want you to call anything. me. I just want to communicate between Danity Kane and our so, label. I, I, there's certain things that if, if I'm doing it for a reason, just for press-wise, not to know what I'm doing with my album, I don't have to communicate it to you. 
But I, if, if there's plans to take a member and do a solo album when we're sitting here working on the group and you want us to sit and trust that we'll just never know when you're going to make a move, that's what we have to do? No, you don't I'm have to. I'm just asking. I'm saying you don't have to. That's the beauty about America. You can leave. I'm not, I don't have no shackles on you. Look, and I don't have no shackles on nobody. You can leave. If you don't like the way I do business, you can leave. But it wasn't even that deep. You making it that deep. I'm not making anything, you, anything. You are because you Absolutely you know what not. You are. So now let's get to me. The vision that I had for the group, this ain't the vision that I'm on. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I don't work these amount of years to have you talk to me this way. I'm not meaning so to So I don't want you in the group no more. That's where I'm at with it. Okay. All right, because I, I don't want to even have to have this conversation. And anybody else that want to go with her could go with her. She's not going to be in Danny Kane. There's nothing else to talk about. Would you like to go with her? And you have a chance right now. You want to get out of the group. You have a chance right now to leave with her. There will be a Danny Kane, though. It's right here. It ain't there no more. This is reality TV. So what you're seeing is what happens in the music industry year after year, decade after decade. Whether it was the Beatles breaking up, NSYNC, Destiny's Child, The Outcast. I don't know what's going on. I have no words. Um, I don't even know. I'm like speechless right now. I'm like, I can't, I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to think. With all my heart, I don't see Danny Kane without it being the five of us. We're all so different, but it's just perfect. You can't, you couldn't force this to work. So I don't. We're girls and we fight and we kick and scream, but at the end of the day, I think we all like, you know, really do care about each other. I don't know what Puff's plan is. He could very well say this is over for the group. I can't imagine not singing again. I can't um, imagine not being on stage. We just work so hard. I don't want to lose my dream. I don't want to lose Danny Kane's dream. I'm sad. We don't trust each other, therefore the business is not working. Not working. I have had it with feeling unhappy. I think that we just need to refocus. Refocus. I don't think anyone has been happy for a okay. long time in this situation. In this situation. In this Why? Situation. Stay in it. Stay in it. Stay in it. I don't want you in the group no more. You could go too. Why can't we just all get along? I'm just as disappointed as you guys are. You helped to give Danity Kane two number one albums, two platinum albums, and I thank you for that. So I'm back in New York and I have a meeting with Puff. So, you know, I'm interested to see what the meeting will be about. The last time I saw Puff was I feel like D-Day for, for Danny Kane kind of left us in a question mark if Danny Kane would survive the decisions that he made. But I really want to be a part of this group. And I'll be that way until I feel like there's no power left in it. What up? Hey. How you? What's going on? Not much. 
Nothing much. Nothing much, Michael. Whatever. You got your Michael Jackson You're voice mean. on. What's up, what's up? Come sit right up here with me. Come, come in the inner circle of trust while I'm working. <laughs> come sit down. Come feel, I feel like you need you some love. You. Come sit down and get... get Is get, it coming off me that bad? Yeah, yeah. Come, come, come get some love. <laughs> let, me, let me get this room, though, so I can talk to her real quick. What's up? Nothing at all. <laughs> what's, been, bad thing. what's been going on? I have no idea. Have y'all talked? No, I've talked to Andrea a couple of times, and we've been back and forth, and she's been cool, but um, Shannon, I haven't, haven't heard from her. She hasn't returned my phone calls. And I thought y'all was cool. At least y'all three was cool. I thought we were too. <laughs> Lawyers have gotten the mix of You know, things. at the end of the day, this is really like, you I know, it's, it's, it's some, this is some real bull <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, people and groups have broken up for some real serious <laughs> Like, y'all don't even know what the reason, y'all need a therapist or something. I would be willing to do anything. Y'all all got a lot of talent. And even if it was a case where y'all didn't like each other, couldn't stand each other, it's just, it's just a way that y'all got to, like, close out the chapter, you know what I'm saying? This shit has to have closure, even for the fans, like, just on the internet. This shit just be crazy. People's minds are blown. They don't really know what happened. I don't know what happened. I don't understand, like, even... So, the la what was the last time you spoke to Shannon? What was her problem? I don't... I thought I thought we were continuing, like at least with the last meeting with the three of us. I thought we were gonna try to. Was there anything you said in interviews? Uh, anybody no. said in interviews? I'm not even just you, anybody that that for a reason for y'all three to no, have a problem. No, I don't with think each other? we have a problem. I think, I think something was told to her by a lawyer. Mm. Like I think, like not to say anything to anyone, because I talked to Dre and I was like, Dre, can you talk to Shannon? And she was like, she won't mention anything about the show about. The, the album or anything she'll talk she talked about her home but that was it i don't think she's mad i just think she's fed up with the situation but i thought us three at least had a common ground do you have everybody's recent numbers you have everybody's mm -hmm. actual recent numbers mm -hmm. all right give me their numbers you got them on you now are you serious yeah let me see their numbers i'm gonna just see what the f is up because it's like i don't be liking to get in no bullshit, but y'all need a, a mediator and you know, I, I still, no matter what, I'm still, see, I'm still what? like so to, like, more responsible. Real, situations like this put me in really bad, like it puts me in like really bad positions, like because they look at me and they all hate me. Well, they, they think you give me think inside I'm, information yeah, or something. Yeah, they, they hate me, like because okay. of and it, is it, you, don't, you ain't gotta give me the numbers. I'm just saying in public, it just seems like I'm a snitch. That's I, the how, word from how, everybody. I'm, I'm the snitch. I'm the one that's in cahoots. I'm the, I'm the bad one. I don't think anybody is more or less to blame. Even if you sit there and be quiet, you know what I'm saying? I feel it's, you. it's almost like I go rob a store and you know about it, you riding in the car with me. You know what I'm saying? I feel you, you, on that. you get the same amount of time as me. I just wanna know where your thing is at. Cause this is a record company and you know, at the end of the day, you know, um, this if if we gonna move on with the three of y'all, four of y'all, you know, we, we gonna wait but for so long. You know. And, and then and then it comes a thing of just other acts get, you know, bumped up on the list of priorities. If they're not calling back, then they're not calling back. I mean, you know, if they come around, then they come around. And if not, then, you know, this is show business. The show must go on, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Dad. Hey, baby. I'm just calling you guys to tell you how the meeting went with Puff. He just wanted to know how everything was going. He, you know, asked me about the girls and how I felt about everything. Just an overall kind of light situation. But I just feel awkward, you know, because I'm out here in New York and I'm by myself, you know, and I'm in a meeting with Puff by myself. And it just, it makes me feel like I'm continuously being, being put, you know, in a, bad in a bad position, right? Because once again, everyone's asking me to be honest and tell the truth about the situation. But the first time I did that, we all know how that worked out. I think he was looking for me to give answers that I couldn't give because I honestly don't, I don't know anything more than anybody else. I'm just as clueless, just as lost. I have no idea how I'm going to get income. No, I, I can't talk to my group members because half of them don't answer the phone. The other half is fed up with this situation. So, like, I don't even know what to do. There's nothing else you can do. Just like getting out of a divorce and going on to it, you got to go on with your life. You can't start waddling in, in the But DK way. is a part of my life. But make people come back because, because if they don't want to come back, you can't make them come. I know, but I think Puff is trying to. Everybody else has done what they have to do, and I think you should think about yourself because you're always thinking about everything.
everybody else. I love my group, and I love, I love, I love all of them, and it hurts me that it's like this. Just wanted to be like it used to be. I love y'all. I'm gonna go sleep, and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Good night, baby. Love you. Still here in New York. Puff has scheduled a meeting, but I'm a little worried because he scheduled for everybody to come and I'm the only one that showed up so far. So it's not looking good. How is your group going? <laughs> That's the question of the year, right? Yes, the day he came to break up. <laughs> no, I don't really know what's happening. I've been trying to get in touch with Shannon and she hasn't returned any of my calls. And um, Andrea, she's like, I really want to work. I miss what the group could have been, but you know, I just when I came to the dream for Danny Kane, I just you know didn't expect it to be this. I do think people, you guys got to keep Danny Kane going for your fans. You right. I think it'd be selfish if you guys just stop Danny Kane. Well, we want we want Shannon. Three of you. But... I would like that because I feel like no matter what happens with Danny Kane. Danny Keen originally was the five of us. If they choose to stay with us, but you know what? Then you know, you know what I disagree with you at? What? If they can't stand up and make a wise decision for y'all lives, because y'all started Danny Kane, I think you should go out and make the smart business choice and look for two of the members who will appreciate Danny Kane for what it is. If they're your sisters, they'll be in that phone calling you right now, trying to get the off. Because if I'm in some beef with day 26, I'm gonna be in the phone calling them, right, it's trying bigger. to get it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's bigger. Than, big. We're all bigger than. It's I all mean, bigger than with them. I'm open-minded to anything. I just know that I want to be a part of a group. I want to be a part of Danny Kane. It's so petty. It's so it's sad. It's unfair to all the people who want dreams and can't have them. No idea what um, Diddy wants to talk about, so we'll see what happens. I think what Diddy did was inevitable. It was going to happen at one point or another. He just made it happen that day. I spent night after night crying and crying and crying about it. But at one point, you just gotta kinda, you gotta stop crying and you just gotta move on. And I'm definitely ready to figure out the next step in my life. I would love for it to be, you know, continuing with Danity Kane. Um, but I don't know if that's gonna happen, so we'll see. <laughs> you look cute! <laughs> Is anyone else coming? Is it just you? It's just me. Damn it. Hey! Damn. How are you? I'm better now. You're better now? <laughs> so, what's going on? I'm ready to get back to work. I'm ready. Let's go. Are I can't we... take it. I can't you understand? Take... I've been going nuts at home. I had a meeting with Puff. What did he say? Nothing. But he wanted me to give him all of Danny Kane's numbers. And I say, I think you've put me in a lot of positions where you've singled me out into this situation and everyone starts hating me. I don't hate you. I know you haven't, but I'm just saying in general. I said, I'm tired of being the person you come to because it looks bad. It looks bad and it makes it look like we have this special pack and then I got this vendetta and it's not even like that when you barely talk to me. Yeah. Where do you think his mindset is? I think in his mind, it was going to be four of us and he was going to keep it moving. That's what I think he thought. I don't think he expected this. Yeah. Everyone keeps thinking that we're going to get back together. Have you spoken to any other girls? Have you? They haven't reached out, no. Will people accept us as a two-self? 
I have to laugh sometimes like because that. I don't want to cry. Like, I cried for like a week. <laughs> I woke up one day and I was just like, I can't cry anymore. I can't cry anymore. I don't understand how we got so lost. What happened to nothing matter but the record and the music, you know what I mean? We took so much for, for granted. granted. I don't know how we'll find it, but we'll get it. Let's see. Don't say that. Say yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh, good. good to see a you familiar face. Yeah. <laughs> How you been? Good. Busy. Busy? Aw, you having fun? It's good. What about you? Oh, just great things going on. <gasps> yeah? No, I'm kidding. No? I have no idea what's going on. I'm so out of the loop. Like, what's going on? A meeting with Puff. That's all I know. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. I just had one. How is that? I feel like I'm just watching my whole career slip away. I don't know. Would you like to order? You know you want. Yeah, can I have the um the Texas omelet? That's my omelet. Two scrambled eggs with American cheese. Thank you. I just been worried about you guys. Honestly, everybody's always asking me. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I I really thought that we would we would pull together, but I mean it starts with the five of us and. Do you talk to everybody? Not at all? Not at all. Just fed up with everything? With drama, yeah. It just seems like everything is like, there's always something that's just not going like on, on plan. <sighs> what do you think is going to happen? Do I think like the five of us will work it out? No. No? No. Would you rather it be just three of you or four of you or whatever? Or... Gladly. This is so weird. I get sad every time I hear our stuff, though. Every time I hear damage on the radio, I'm like, I am damaged. Every time? Like, every 10 seconds? No. <laughs> I have a feeling he's going to ask you what you want, what what you would want to happen. I feel like I want him to put back Dan and Kane together. No. <laughs> like, can we get on a conference call and call them? Can you make them? <laughs> Damn table. <laughs> Today, Puff has scheduled a meeting for all of Danny Kane to show up at, and only Dre and I are here. Somebody wants to talk to I've had a feeling unhappy. She was part of the problem for you. No. Yes. Y'all like each other. We don't trust each other. She's not going to be in Danny Kane. Dude, everything happened in this room. If you really think about it, we were created in this room. We died in this room. And we can somehow be transformed. We should burn this room. Just Make set it on matches. fire when he walks in. I don't know, you guys. What's happening? There's no more you guys. It's just me right you now. You guys. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> it's really not funny. It's, it's not. not. I don't know. I think this is what we should do. I think music is all that matters, and we just need to get back to that. I think we should put Puff in a wig. A blonde one? A blonde one. And... be like, look. I think he should commence to... Wearing glitter and big hair. He doesn't like big hair, it has to be straight. Straight. And we should put him in Danny Kane, and that'll be the three girls. I think that anyone who wanted to be here would be here right now. So we need to not I keep agree. going back to it. It's not there. That's a great statement.
there were two. So the last time I was here, I um, asked everybody what's really good, what's really going on, and you know, I kind of got the runaround. And now we down to two of y'all, and I need to try to figure out where we're going, you know, with this group and y'all future, so. I think it's pretty obvious. Anyone who wanted to be here would have been here. Mm hmm So why is Shannon not here? I don't know. I mean, we can't really speak for her. No. So have y'all tried as we a ghost to reach out to the girls? Who did you try to reach out to I mean, since the we... time we were here? I've talked to Shannon. Besides Shannon, the other no. girls you haven't tried to reach out to. So, I mean, it's still that same thing. You haven't tried to reach out to well, them. Well, no, either. because no. if they wanted to be here, they would be here. Because I think but, but, but everyone I, had the opportunity to come back. It has to come, come to a point where somebody has to be the bigger person. We, I definitely think, I mean, I can't sit here and say, like, I've sat in front of them and been like, we can make this work. We got to put whatever we got to put behind us. I think we've all tried at one point or another. It's just, you can only do so much. I think we just, we're all on five different pages. And so y'all are prepared to, to not be a group? I mean, I don't think we have a choice. No, y'all do have a choice. When you can't get someone to answer your phone call, that's not your fault. Mm -hmm. Like, the reality is I have reached out, but if someone doesn't want to pick up an email or a phone call or answer, answer me back, that's, that's the best that I can do. See, what's in her mind, she thinks that there's no coming back. Mm -hmm. That's something we said. We sat in a meeting with her said. and told her yeah. to her face. I don't think Puff fired you. Like, I really don't mm -hmm. think. And she said, in my mind, he did. He did. As, as a businessman, I'm not letting nobody out their contracts. I'm not letting nobody out their contracts. It's not about to be other record companies taking advantage of this situation or y'all acting the way y'all acting and affecting my business. To me, it's hard to put out a group that has two number one albums that fans have supported. And I can't give them no, no real reason why y'all ain't together but some bull. So at the end of the day, I want the world to know. I don't give a All right? We got some business that we still got to handle. And this is a business. And that's really reality. We're going to handle that so everybody can lawyer up, figure out what it is that, that's going to happen. Y'all have a responsibility to straighten this out. Y'all got me in a mess, the business but in a mess. But we can't make anyone here. Like, why do we have to suffer? So the thing is, I'm mad at all five of y'all. So, and that, that ain't going to change. I'm telling y'all to this, and I told D Woods this. And I told all so of you. So the thing is, thing is but they're the not here. Thing. They've but obviously made a decision. This, I told them so this what do we though. do from there? I don't care about y'all egos. Everybody it's better, not everybody here. better pick, Okay, I don't care if y'all got to call each other four or five times, whatever. But once you make the final decision and it's but over. we're not making the final making... decision. What we're, we're saying is we're not making a final decision. We're sitting okay. here telling you so we want to work. Fine, Shannon. You want us to, to punch her in the face no. and drag her? Like, are we here? No, like, no, we no, wish I'm we could. You know what I'm saying? We sit I'm here saying, and we talk I'm, about I'm it. I'm saying you'll have to work things out sometimes with people. But I'm sometimes sorry. you but can't if someone doesn't work, work it out with you, then what do you do here? Ooh, try again. Try one last time for me. I'll try. We'll continue Thank to try. You very much. But I just try one last time for me. We'll try. I know you said you already gone 99%. Go that one last percent, because once that hammer comes down, boom, and, it's it, and, and it's over, it's over. Right. All right? Cool, thank you. <laughs>